How do small side games alter physiologically, physically and technically basketball games? Small side games are game-based conditions that can lead to improvements in performance in competition for improvements in skill execution. Given the likely benefits of small side games in basketball practice in improving both skills and conditioning, it's important to have an overview on the relative contribution of the physical, physiological and technical demands of various small side games. So, how do small side games alter physiologically, physically and technically basketball games? The authors of this paper provided an answer. Eight variations of small side games were studied, 2 vs 2 and 4 vs 4, in half and full court, in 4 times of 2.5 minutes and 2.5 and of 5 minutes. The small side games were scheduled over a 6 week period during the pre-season. 16 elite junior basketball players were studied from the Australian Institute of Sport, and there were male and female dividing groups of four, which competed against each other in the tournament-style format. The physiological, physical and technical demands of each game were quantified through the heart rate monitoring, RPEs, take one minute after the end of the game, movement pattern analysis and video coding. The events coded for movement patterns were stand, walking, jog, run, sprint, low, medium and high intensity shuffles and jumps. Technical demands were coded as dribbling, passing, mid-range shots, that is, the shots outside the key area within the three point line, three point shots, shots outside the three point line, close range shots, shots within the key area, rebounding, and ball screens. The results show that the number of players per team had a larger effect on all the technical actions. The total number of technical elements per player was substantially higher in the 2 vs 2 games compared to the 4 vs 4. Court size was less influential on the technical demands. Half court games had more or less 20% more total technical elements and passing than full court games. Except for both screens, the number of all other technical elements was substantially higher in the half court games. The number of dribbles passes, rebounds, and ball screens were moderately higher in the 2 vs 2 games. Similarly, the number of mid-range jump shots and 3-point shots were higher in the 2 vs 2 games. While regarding physiological side, RPE scores were moderately higher by the two units in the 2 vs 2 games compared to the 4 vs 4 games. Cost size had a moderate effect on RPEs, with the full core games eliciting higher RPEs ratings than half core games and no clear differences were seen in any of the heart rate variables for core size. Mean heart rate was moderately higher in the 2 per 5 minute small side games compared to the 4 per 2.5 minute types. RPE was substantially higher and the amount of time spent at 90% of the maximum heart rate was twofold longer in the 2 per 5 minute small side games. Conversely, time spent with the heart rate in the range of 80 and 89% of the maximum heart rate was substantially longer in the small side games with 4 per 2.5 work to rate ratios. Finally, the number of players, core size, and work to rest ratio had variable impacts on the specific movement patterns in small side games. The number of players has the largest influence on high intensity exercise with 2 vs 2 games involving higher frequency of sprints high-intensity shuffling movements and jumps. Court size also had the largest influence on low to moderate intensity movement patterns and the total number of movements. Half-court games included 25% more standing and walking and more low, medium, high intensity shuffling type movement partners than full-court games. Full-court games involved a similar number of sprints but substantially more jogging movements. The total number of movements is 70% higher in half-core games. The 4 per 2.5 minute type small side games had substantially higher frequency of moderate to high intensity movement patterns with small to moderate differences in running, sprinting, jumping, medium and high intensity shuffling. 
To conclude, the number of players on court has the largest effect on physiological and technical demands in small side games. Court size and work to rate ratios can also influence the frequency of various movement patterns. Basketball coaches can manipulate different variables of small side games to establish the technical, physiological, and physical demands of the basketball practice. If you'd like to know more about this topic, you can find the related research in the description below. Also, if you feel that you found the video useful, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below about your favorite research. Thank you for watching and goodbye!